Christmas is all about? It's Lindsay and welcome back to my face. So before I get into this video, I want to quickly talk about Vlogmas. So basically, Vlogmas is happening currently and I want to do it. Um, exams took over, exams took priority. I only had two exams and there was with the snow day, exams were delayed. My last exam from last Friday was, the afternoon was delayed till this morning. So as of this morning, I'm officially done and I have one semester of college left. If I look kind of washed out, I'm in front of a window that's open to give me some lighting, but my skin kind of matches the color of the wall so like but basically what happened with vlogmas is i was really excited and i was i pre-filmed a few videos when i had time and then exams took over and i've had a few videos filmed that just need to be edited i haven't had time to edit them so i was kind of going in order of <coughs> days so like even though I might have missed a day or two I was putting up day five on like day seven or whatever or day eight I was posting vlogmas day five and realistically I don't have enough videos filmed to cover all of I'm gonna silence my phone really quick to cover all you know 24 or 25 days however you do it so what I'm going to do is from now till like Christmas I'm going to take the I'm going to go back and like the one that was actually day 5 of Vlogmas that I posted, or day 8 that I called day 5, I'm going to rename it. And there'll just be some gaps like there was last year. I'm not going to do as big of a gap when I went from like day 9 to like day 22 or something. Like I'm going to try and if I can't do every day, at least do every other day with the videos that I have. I'll be home now so I don't know how easy it'll be to film but... As you're watching this now, I'm done with exams and I'm just waiting for my mom to come and move me out. Not fully out, but like to pack my stuff to go home. <coughs> so, um, I have some time. I'm not going to be too loud in case people are still trying to study for exams like tomorrow or an exam like... Well, actually, exams start at 1, so they should all be in their exams by now if they have one. If not, they'll be tomorrow. So yeah, um, that's what's up with with vlogmas and so I'm just gonna kind of pick up where I left off you know and like that so for this video it's just gonna be a quick little chat um I want to talk about like exams and stuff like that so for me exams are always stressful even if it's like today it was like a BevOps exam it wasn't that long or involved or worth stressing over but I freaked out and couldn't sleep and all this stuff um and stuff like that. Um, I have to respond to a text really quick. But yeah, stuff like that still stresses me out. <coughs> you know, so I try not to let it. But I think knowing that this is possibly my last exams because next semester is all culinary. And usually in culinary, you'll have like a final practical. Some teachers will give you final exam depending on the class. You'll have a written final. Some teachers don't do that. They don't care. You just go to the kitchen and clean. You do a final cooking day and they grade that and then you go and clean so it just depends I have two lab classes where it's kind of up in the air whether or not I would have a final but if I did have a final it would most likely be like our last day of class it wouldn't be into exam week usually so it's crazy to think about graduation and like today I was telling people like oh yeah one semester left or you know all this and it's it's crazy to think about all this stuff I've done like to get to this point and to get to graduation and to be at um like a point in my life where <laughs> I can say like in a semester like I'm graduating college that's crazy to me I don't feel like I'm that old <laughs> you know in February it's um today is December 12th so in two months from tomorrow I will be 22 the Taylor Swift age um which is crazy to think about being that old and graduating college and like there's people I went to high school with um one second And people that I went to high school with are having, like, babies. Well, granted, one of them, like, got pregnant during high school. But the other, like, two 
like we're in their 20s whatever and they're all like some of them are on their second babies and like engaged and all this stuff and I'm like and I know like we're only 21 22 23 ish you figure you know depending on like their age so you figure you know 23 I don't feel like it's too young to have a kid if you're you know committed and whatever like you know people do what they want but knowing that like my peers people that I went to school with are like already like at that point in their life and like I've been single my entire life just knowing that they're already like babies and marriage and like houses and apartments and like full-time relationships I'm just like I'm at that age where it's like in a few years like you get wedding invitations and like like p baby announcements and you see all this stuff and it's like I feel like I still feel young and I, I still am young I'm not saying like oh I'm still old like I'm 30 five you know and I have three kids and I'm going back to my master's degree like nothing like that which by the way my sister's turning 30 in February so 30 is not old but you know what I mean like for her to say like oh I just feel so old because when I'm graduating college we're eight years apart that probably makes her feel kind of ancient because she graduated college so long ago now and not this semester but the next she'll actually be graduating with her master's degree a second degree you know and I'm only on my first so I can't say that I feel old or but I feel so accomplished and it's like knowing what I've done to get to where I am. It's bullying in high school and medical conditions and different things that I won't go into now in this video. Doing all of that and like losing family members and stuff that I, that there's been days throughout the culinary journey that I've cried for family members that I wish could be here to see certain things. Like when we had our, when we ran our student restaurant, um, last fall and it was my night to be like executive one of the executive chefs like head chefs in the back and my night to run in front of the house and I was like serving my family and stuff it was like I wish they could be there to see that and I know they do see it I believe in that you know they see they're here not physically but I believe that they're present at certain things and they see things and they're around but sometimes you wish you know it's like graduation they won't be there They'll be there, but they won't physically be there, and it's it's hard to think about, but, um, you know, I, certain people I wish could be here, and they're not, and they can't, and that's just a thing of life, but that's something that I think about, like, I did all of this, and they weren't here to see any of it, and I'm so proud of myself, and I know, I think I know my family's proud of me, and it's like, only having one semester left is scary as all heck <laughs> but it's also kind of comforting to know that I've done it and I've gotten to this point and now my next semester is just all culinary it's not going to be that hard of a semester I don't think I'm being a teacher's assistant I'm taking two lab classes and then just because I needed a fourth class to keep my top scholarship I'm taking like an online um, culinary history of the styles class which should be interesting but it's like I didn't even I only needed three classes to literally graduate so like I'm taking only 12 hours and one of them's online so it's a little crazy it's <laughs> kind of insane to think of what I've done to be here and that I'm making this video but I wanted to document this point in my life because today is um, Tuesday, December 12th, it is 1.20 p.m., and as of right this very moment, I have four classes until I graduate college. One semester until I'm done. And I just wanted to document this for me in the future. Um, you're proud of yourself, and you're a little scared for the future. You're nervous, you're unsure about things. But you know what? We're going to be okay. You got this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this vlog, this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're hungry for videos every day until Christmas. I'm trying. If I can't film because I'm home or something, you know, I will, I'll, like I always say, check my social medias to know if there will be like a video or not. Exams were just took a priority. Now I'm home. Obviously, I'll be Christmas shopping and stuff, so maybe I'll... I don't... The vlogging in public thing probably won't happen, but if I go shopping or do something, like, with my friend, maybe I will. We'll see. So, yeah. I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Like I said, I will just start with day 12 of Vlogmas when I upload this today. 
and then be like on track. Um, I may end up posting like extra videos at the end to make up for the missed days, but I'm probably just gonna pick up here and instead of trying to like this counts for day six and be like six days off, you know, to, so that way your subscription box isn't confusing if you see Vlogmas day six, but it's already day 12. So yeah, um, stay saucy. Bye. Jingle bell.